Two children in Colorado were injured when a bounce house went airborne. Anna Cabrera has more on this incredible scene witnessed by the parents. Panic and fear when this bounce house takes off into the air with two young children inside. Parents and players watching helplessly as a strong gust of wind blows the inflatable slide across a field and into the middle of a Colorado lacrosse tournament. We thought the girls were going to get taken out because this thing's massive. Witnesses recall the horrifying scene. As the wind picked up, it would tumble and just like a bag in the wind. And then all of a sudden it picks up and there's a girl going down the slide. She flies out about eight feet in the air. A 10-year-old girl was thrown from the bounce house right away, but an 11-year-old boy continued to tumble another 200 to 300 feet before the slide finally came to a stop. Both are recovering from minor injuries. Airbound, the company operating the bouncy slide, says they maintained all safety precautions, including having their staffing on site. We did have the inflatable properly staked into the ground. We do wish that we had been able to foresee the microburst wind and shut the ride down prior to this incident occurring. This isn't the first time these party favorites have gone airborne. Just last month, three children playing inside this bouncy house in upstate New York were sent flying nearly two stories high when the inflatable structure was blown right off the front yard. In 2011, 13 people were injured when another bouncy house was swept into a crowd of onlookers at this soccer game in Long Island. And that same year, another accident caught on camera at a fifth grade graduation party in Tucson, Arizona. Oh my God! But for the children involved in this most recent accident, this attraction providing more fear than fun. Wow. Now here are